Hey, right. hey, Max, what's the ingredient for pumpernickel bread? We have people here in our building. What's the ingredient for pumpernickel bread? Who only know them as pasta. Pumper, pump it up, pump it up. That's what I like. And I'll say Coach Santa Maria, and they're like, who's that? Oh, that's pasta's name? They just know him as pasta. Pumpernickel bread, baby. Pumpernickel bread. That started back in uh, youth football. He was overweight and had trouble meeting the, uh, the weight guidelines. See, mine's on the side because I'm too fat. They used to run him around Mercer When you Field. got a gut and it hangs, the belt buckle cuts you. That's why mine's is on the side. That's where we practiced. Uh, they would run him around in fire coats. Nowadays, you know, one of the coaches would go to jail for that. Hey, Mr. Referee's fast. I believe it was my father and Mr. Keating. That's a fast referee. He just flew by in there. Our freshman coach who... Mr. Referee, you got some hops there, coach. You know, they were coming down to the games, and I think they, they actually started that, that, uh, that nickname of uh, Pasta. Make room for Mr. Referee. Make room for him. The legend began there. Really? He was good. You were on fire tonight. That was beautiful. Pasta and Jimmy have been tight. They went to high school together. You know, they were boys together in high school. And, yeah, when Jimmy gets up tight, it's Pasta's job to, you know, he does some outlandish crap, and... It gets Jim to finally laugh and loosen up a little Tell bit. Him. You know what Pumpernickel is made out of? I don't know, but it was that close. <laughs> he always makes us laugh, and, and he's that good buffer. Man, these, these laces will be the last time I buy these laces. The buffer that I need for sure at times uh, between myself and, and the athletes or myself and the other coaches. Uh, he always finds a way to put a positive spin on things. He, he'll say, say some things like under his breath, like coach will be yelling at us and be like, hey, don't worry about it, you know, like, <laughs> just kind of like make it all settle, like, don't worry about it, guys, just, we got next time. Man, these sunflower seeds are hot. He says things and you have no idea where he's going with it, but it comes out and makes sense. You like peanut butter and jelly? Jam him! I didn't say anything at first. I, I was just kind of sitting there, I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> and he screams in my face like louder than I've ever heard him scream at me. He's like, then jam! That big guy cannot be getting out there. He's slow. Jam him! Did you get the joke? <laughs> yes, I totally got the joke after. Peanut butter and jelly! Stick it to him! It wasn't funny at the time, but when I watched the, when I watched the video, it was very funny. Yeah. We're a slice of bread away from making the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Pumpernickel was to stop the F-bomb from coming out. Listen, we're a pumpernickel seat away. Yeah, I was very conscious. He knew he was mic'd up and he wanted to keep it clean, so... What's pumpernickel bread? What's it made out of? That was the first word that popped into his head when he was about to yell. Have, have you ever had pumpernickel bread, Pop? You don't want coaches that are you. With some toasted with butter? I'm down with that. You want coaches that are almost the opposite of you. With pasta, it's almost like we don't even need to communicate. He knows. He plays off me uh, beautifully. You know, we, not that you know, like we're a husband and wife team, but he, he reads me and I can read him, and uh, we just work well together. So pumpernickel bread's made out of pump? I love it. <laughs> I hope Jimmy doesn't hear this stuff. <laughs>